Hello, welcome to the regular Jenkins governance meeting. Today is, is September 30th. Um, actually, we slightly moved the meeting in order to uh, make it happen uh, in the middle between DevOps world and CDCon. Um, and uh, today we have a few topics uh, for the agenda. So we will talk about the recent news, then we will discuss the ongoing collection process. Uh, and um, talk about updating officer role definitions and Mark has an update for JFrog uh, artifact request reductions. Uh, is there anything else we need to put on the agenda? Okay, then uh, let's continue. Okay, one of uh, major updates regarding Jenkins governance. Uh, today, well, not today, uh, last week we have announced uh, Jenkins board and officer elections in 2020. So these are the second elections to be held uh, by the Jenkins project. Uh, we had elections last year, we elected uh, three board members and five officers. And uh, this year we are running elections again and we made some changes um, in the process as we discussed uh, in the previous meetings. So key days for the election, um, October 15th is a deadline for uh, board and officer nominations. Uh, there is some documentation in the announcement, so we can see how to nominate them. Uh, and on November 2nd, uh, voting uh, registration will be over. So if you're interested to participate in Jenkins elections, uh, there are two action items for you. Firstly, register for the election uh, by submitting a Google form or by sending a mail to our mailing list and uh, nominate contributors for all roles. Uh, in this year we elect uh, all officers, so it's five officers at the moment, security, events, release, infrastructure, and documentation. I don't think that we will be introducing any more officers, taking the timeline for the elections. And uh, we will also be electing two governance board members. So the election itself will happen in November. We still have quite a lot of time uh, but uh, yeah, um, we needed uh, to facilitate it a bit last week to prepare everything. Okay. Any comments, questions about the elections? Then uh, let's oh. move uh, on with other news. October 1st. Sorry, yeah. I'll like back to elections. Do you have any, or is, it, is the board comfortable sharing any status in terms of number of people who've already registered? Etc. Or is that not not acceptable to share yet? No. Well, it's uh, acceptable, I think. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's okay to share uh, nomination stats because it's ongoing. So there are some nominations on the discussion. So for voting, uh, we have uh, a few dozens of uh, voters uh, who signed up. So much less than in previous years at the moment. One of the obvious reasons is because we don't uh, do mass mail distribution. Uh, but we still have uh, elections referenced uh, on the Jumbotron, uh, on the events page, I believe. No, uh, on the calendar. And uh, yeah, well, let's give it some time. And if there is not enough uh, registrations uh, in the next week, so then we will definitely need to think how we facilitate uh, participation. Uh, last year we had uh, more than 300 voters, but again, uh, we reached out uh, to the entire uh, Jenkins database in Jira. Right, uh, we, we, we risked a hun almost 100,000 email messages, right, to get those 300 voters. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, it's uh, common for other organizations, so not so many contributors and users actually participate in elections. Nice. Thank you. Uh, so we are not an exception there, uh, but still uh, it's our best interest to actually get uh, more community members voting. Okay, uh, next update, October 1st. So it starts on uh, October 1st, anywhere on the earth. So effectively it means that it has already started. Uh, if you're interested uh, to start contributing, uh, it's a good opportunity. Um, yeah, October 1st is month long event. Uh, basically you can submit a pull request anywhere on GitHub to public repositories. And if you submit four pull requests, you can uh, get uh, some schwa and cool t-shirts. 
Um, so Jenkins project also participates in the Hacktoberfest. We have a number of uh, featured projects prepared, for example, website, uh, plugin site, Jenkins core, Jenkins file runner, terminology cleanup, artwork, and uh, hopefully we'll have more featured projects uh, submitted by contributors soon. Um, for each project, we have contributed thing guidelines, good first issues, and even if you're not familiar with Jenkins, uh, you're welcome to participate. Uh, and yep, uh, just submit uh, patches over the months, and if you need uh, any assistance, we have a dedicated Gitter chat for that. So, any contributions uh, will be welcome. Okay. Any comments, questions? Yeah, uh, so uh, back to governance. So Alex made an announcement uh, about uh, his governance uh, board position in the mailing list. So Alex, would uh, you like to summarize it? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I just, um, I have a new role at work that is going to take significantly more time so I've decided to step down from the board after this year. Uh, so when the next um, board uh, term starts, I, I will just be stepping down. So we'll be electing two individuals to the board this year. Yeah. Thanks. I'd uh, like to say thank you for everything that you've done for this community. Thanks, Marky. I'll still be around. I just, uh, I feel like I, I um, I just won't have the time to fulfill this role, but I'll still be around helping. Yeah. That's good news because we need you around. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Uh, so, yes, Alex, uh, the, it basically makes uh, two board uh, uh, members to be elected this year. It was one of the major concerns last year when we made the decision to elect three instead of uh, two. Uh, but yeah, it uh, balances the process a bit. Uh, and yeah, again, uh, if uh, you want to nominate someone, please send nominations. And yeah, thanks again to Alex for all contributions to the governance and uh, to other areas of the Jenkins community. Okay. So, anything else before we move on? Okay, so the next update is CDCon. So it will be October 8th and 9th. Oh, 7 and 8, right? Yeah, that's correct. 7 and 8. Lisa, would you like to summarize uh, uh, the conference? Um, the CDCon? Yes. Um, I must see. So uh, Lisa, I'm, I'm online oh, okay. if you want me to. Good, that'd time. be perfect. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know the places on the call. Jumped in and started lurking. Hey everybody, good to see you all again. Yes, yeah, so CityCon is coming up next week. Um, and we've kind of made a bunch of changes uh, just based on community feedback. So just the first thing to know is, oh, look, it's me on video. Um, anyway, we are, um, we got rid of the donation as a blocker. So it's now optional. So people can register for free, especially if, um, that's a barrier to them signing up. We are starting the sessions earlier in the day to accommodate our European audience. And uh, most exciting, uh, we try to factor in some more interactive sessions. So we will be having birds of a feather sessions. Um, and particularly there's a Jenkins one, which is, if you, if you click on the pink off sessions, I think that shows it. Yeah, I did it. Um, and that is on Thursday, uh, kind of early on. So what we're looking for for that is if folks can be on hand in that session to welcome community members, even create a shared doc, uh, we can add that to the agenda so people see it and they, they show up, they can either join in chat or they can join on video. Um, and that's, yeah, I think that we've seen a lot of registrations come in in the last while. I think we're up to about 550 now. Um, aiming for a thousand, so we're we're on course for that, which which is pretty good. We're looking forward to the first kind of virtual uh, CDCon that brings the community together. So yeah, I encourage folks to register if you haven't already. Um, sign up to help us out with the boffs. 
uh, just promote the event and encourage folks to come along. And yeah, I think we'll be adding in some kind of fun stuff as well, but uh, to, to be announced. Any questions? Oh. Great, we'll see you there next question, week. Uh, are there any actions needed uh, from the Jenkins community and advocacy and outreach seek at the current state? Or materials, whatever. Yeah, no, I think it's pretty good. Thanks so much for getting it on the, the, the banner. And I think maybe just a couple of tweets or LinkedIn uh, to remind folks uh, it's coming up and, and that will be, yeah, super awesome. Mm -hmm. And maybe the boff on the calendar, I don't know if anybody reached out about that, um, but just for saying, look, here's a chance to kind of come into a way to meet the community members in a newcomer friendly way. I think that would be nice. Okay, yeah, definitely we could do that. Great, thanks very much. Okay, thank you. Any other news? Um, I have some CDF news. Um, well, some updates, I guess. Just one thing is um, I finally chased up the, the payments for Google Season of Doc, so we should be able to manage that at CDF. And I'll forward you the details from, from the finance folks so we can get that taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we'll do that in first part, two parts. So the first part will be manage the payments and then once we've got the payment we can set it up in in the community bridge platform okay. and oh, the other thing i think i shared this at the talk meeting um but there is going to be a new training course um from the linux foundation training team on jenkins essentials and i believe that's going to be launched on october 6th it's the folks from aplima uh, who have written that so it Kind of, I think there's a, a free edX course. I think this will be a paid for um, Jenkins big beginner course um, that's being announced yeah, next week. Mm -hmm. yeah, great. And yeah, and I think um, other than those folks will do a press release about that. That's all I can think of from CDF. But yeah, if there's any questions or outstanding issues, happy to uh, take those. I'm not aware about any major outstanding issues and the rest we can discuss after I see the con. Yep. Okay, great. Just let me know if anything I can help with. Thank you. So maybe one related topic is uh, we still, uh, at some point we will need to recover the Jenkins Serenity and tough, uh, discussion because yeah, we had an intention uh, to recover meetups then yeah, COVID happened. So basically this topic got frozen, um, but yeah, I think that at some point we need to discuss what we do with stale meetups and whether there is uh, any feasibility to recover them in uh, the current uh, environment. Yeah, no, I think after CDCon, we should have some more bandwidth to, to relook at that. And uh, yeah, we can get Jackie involved as well. Okay. Thank you. So, any other news? If not, we can uh, go for this uh, other items in the agenda. Yeah, I think that's all from my side. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, for Jenkins support and officer elections, um, yeah, everything is going pretty good at the moment. So we announced uh, the elections on time. The same for voting sign up, both uh, processes are working. So we've got a number of uh, nominations, we've got a number of uh, registrations uh, for elections. Um, and the next deadline for us is October 15th. So for 15th, yeah, we, we target uh, officer and uh, work nominations. Uh, we've got quite a number of them. Uh, it would be great to have more. So if you have somebody in mind, please uh, send an email to the Jenkins uh, government board as uh, documented uh, on the page. And yeah, I think that it should be okay. 
by October 22nd, we have uh, all, uh, we should have all nominations, uh, dispersional statements published. So right now it's basically a silent period where we uh, try to facilitate the registrations, but uh, there is no bearing with deadlines at the moment. Okay. Any questions, concerns about the elections? Okay, uh, let's move on. So for officers who uh, are present on the call, uh, yeah, yeah, I sent individual emails to every officer just to check uh, your interest uh, to continue in this role uh, in the, the next uh, term. So if you do not want uh, to continue, uh, please uh, reply to this email so that the Jenkins board can act on that and prepare. Yeah, hope. again, uh, it really depends on nominations because if uh, there is more than one nominations, they will be election anyway. Uh, but like we had last year, uh, in a few cases when uh, an officer was willing to continue in the role and there was no other nominations, then yeah, basically we just proceeded uh, as is as it's documented now. Those. Okay. Moving on. Okay, updating uh, officer definitions. Actually, it's uh, an action item uh, which I had uh, last uh, spring, but uh, we haven't delivered on that at that time. Uh, so there were some uh, concerns about uh, definitions for officers because some definitions were dated. For example, for event officer, uh, we still have documentation for Jenkins area meetups so that would be transitioned with, uh, to continuous delivery foundation. And uh, there was a discussion about how we actually update uh, the definitions so that uh, these requirements represent actual expectations from officers and actual needs in these uh, domains. Um, I would like to follow up on that. Uh, so that uh, we can have uh, the definitions updated uh, before the end of the nominations phase, October 15th. But yeah, this update is not ready for voting. I haven't started the developer mailing list yet. Uh, still, it would be great to get your feedback. So there is a pull request 2943. Uh, what ha changed in this pull request? So for all uh, roles, uh, I did something like facilitate uh, projects within the domain. Uh, again, the word thing is something we can uh, discuss, but uh, the main idea is uh, that uh, officers, uh, well, uh, they're expected to actually facilitate and empower initiatives in their domain and also to get the uh, key initiatives uh, represented on the public Jenkins roadmap. Again, there is no expectation that officers would be working uh, on an initiative on their own. Uh, but yeah, as officers uh, and uh, as uh, team leaders in the community, I think it, it could be a good item uh, to be added explicitly. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, there are a few other changes, uh, but yeah, actually the main changes are in the uh, events or uh, team lead role. Uh, so yeah, your feedback, Alisa, would be great especially what items uh, we need to keep, what items uh, we need to rework, etc. I made a few patches there, uh, but uh, yeah, before we actually merge that, uh, it would be great uh, to get your review. Yeah, I'll do that after the call, Oleg. Mm -hmm. And yeah, basically the same uh, for release documentation officers. So I slightly expanded the description. Uh, but again, uh, this uh, topic is still wide open for the discussion. So if you see any items uh, which you would like to add, remove, uh, or amend, please uh, just do it as proposals and this pull request so that uh, we can keep the discussion going. And the current documentation, for me, one of the potential issues is the release officer role because the release officer role changed significantly for Firstly, this release automation infrastructure, which is currently available. Plus, we introduced and expanded the Jenkins maintainers team, 
plus we change the, the LTS process slightly. So there are some entries here which could be adjusted. Uh, Oliver is not on the call, uh, so I will definitely take it offline into the mailing list. Uh, but yeah, right now uh, it looks like uh, this uh, definition might need an upgrade. Also, for example, manage code signing keys. Right now it's added to the release role, but de facto uh, it's the infrastructure officer uh, doing that at the moment. And since we have uh, keys being used for multiple purposes, maybe we should actually move it to the infrastructure officer. So if you see such items, uh, please just uh, raise the flag so that uh, you can update it. Any feedback, comments? Thanks for starting it, and I'll give feedback in the, in the pull request. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you, John. So, again, sorry that uh, it started uh, uh, slightly late in the process, uh, but yeah, there was a crunch to just get uh, elections announced with all, all uh, uh, the checks and the requirements to be met. Thanks a lot to Uli and uh, Alex for helping with that and for being on the elections committee this year. Uh, so, yeah, it would be difficult uh, to do it uh, without uh, having multiple contributors involved. Uh, but, yeah, everything is on time so far. Okay, the next topic is JFrog artifact cost deductions. So, Mark, would you like to share the progress? Yes, we had a, a very good session with Baruch Saragurski of JFrog, Daniel Beck, and me. Uh, today and talk through both the high level vision uh, and the high level vision is the most gratifying Baruch reinforced that JFrog truly intends to continue support, supporting Jenkins project and the Jenkins project development. Um, they do want to block usage that's unrelated to Jenkins because it makes a, a cost burden on the Jenkins project and on them that they'd like to not be absorbing. They, however, stated very clearly that they want to support the Jenkins project and its continuing use of JFrog Artifactory. Now they offered, Baruch offered suggestions of ways that he thinks specific changes we can make in the use models that will likely hit the entire target they need for, or their, their objective of supporting the Jenkins project. Daniel Beck understands those requests and is going to do some experiments based on them. He was quite hopeful, but it was not a wholesale massive modification of things if, if his experiments work out. So Baruch is going to help with log analysis from inside JFrog and he'll find that person and then we'll, we'll have a discussion with them at some point in the future further further discussion. So I went into the meeting very concerned and came out of the meeting meeting feeling much more comfortable and much more confident that JFrog is still very committed to the Jenkins project. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the summary. So why it's important? Uh, JFrog hosts uh, the entire report in KSIO. So basically it's mission critical for development and mission critical uh, for delivery of artifacts. Uh, right now we do not, well, we basically store all the jars and whatever produced by Maven and Gradle flows in Artifactory. Also, we use it for incremental releases and a few other continuous delivery focused flows. And yeah, the current cost is quite high. I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to disclose the number. Uh, so, well, and Baruch didn't know the number, so we should know. I wouldn't disclose it because I talked with him about the number during the call, and mm -hmm. he noted he's not focused on the cost, he's focused on being sure that we have legitimate use. But you are correct, Oleg, the cost is substantial. Yeah, right. So right now, uh, one of the updates was that we actually added JFrog uh, to the list of uh, major sponsors uh, to the project. And yeah, we definitely, we are definitely interested to see how we could uh, reduce the cost. Right. Okay, thank you. So there was an item added by Lisa, I guess it's, uh, is it related uh, to the officer updates? Uh, oh, it's I think, totally uh, different, it's from me. Um, 
All right. Yeah. Sorry, I, I thought uh, that it's the way to this. Sorry. Okay. Uh, could you please summarize that? Yeah, it is on my to-do list, I think, a couple of months now. So uh, what I try to figure out what is what, are, what is the current state of our donations to FFIS. So first I wrote a mail, got no answer. Now I wrote a formal letter and got no answer. So he signed, or the, yeah, the leader of this, uh, yeah, it's not a company, it's... Yeah, I'm actually not sure what's actually behind it. It's a one person show and nobody's responding on these donations thing. I think we have uh, three or four thousand uh, dollars um, built on their account. But currently the website is kind of down and I'm not sure if anybody is yeah, responding. So. I think, or I fear, the money is lost. I don't know. Um, actually, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know what we can do now. So it's a little bit strange. I wrote emails. I wrote a letter. So yeah, mm -hmm. has That's someone an idea what we can do here? So well. It's a good question because actually we don't have a lot of leverage or whatever options and also it's a question of time cost. Yeah. So yeah, I'm also not sure what to suggest, uh, but uh, yeah, if we are confident that it's just about two or three years, so that you're uh, maybe taken the current situation, yeah. it's better to just put it on hold. Mm -hmm. Well, it's still unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what exactly we can do. I agree with just putting it on hold. I don't see, I don't see a lot to be gained by us attempting to to chase that. I'd rather have Uli's time and other board members' time focused on helping improve Jenkins. If if it could have, we could have found it. Great, but it it looks like they're they're not not readily findable. Mm -hmm. I think. I have one option is we have a computer magazine in Germany. They are caring for customers and things like that. So maybe I write them an email if they can help here. Because if something is going into public, somebody sometimes is willing to help. So I think this is an option is not too expensive because it's just writing an email and they normally help people for their yeah, work against companies, but maybe they also help open source projects. Let, let us see, I'll try. Mm. Why not? Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for driving that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, once we discover the state for uh, FFF, I, FFIS, uh, we updated our donations form. So last spring, we actually removed it uh, from the donations page. Uh, right now, it uh, is on the community bridge. Um, I guess the only problem that uh, the website still will be uh, the Jenkins project. Uh, as if you know the uh, hyperlink, right? Yeah, the, I have the hyperlink, but the website is now broken because MSQL is not uh, responding anymore. So I think I think they still have the domain, but the computer yeah. behind the scene is broken. Yeah. So it's F F actually let me see. It's F F I S dot D E. So mm -hmm. I can post it here in the chat. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, so it would be uh, very unfortunate uh, to lose money of those who donated uh, to the system. At the same time, yeah, by spending many months on uh, retrieving this money, it definitely would be even worse disservice uh, yeah. to those who support the project. So mm -hmm. yeah. let's see if no low cost option. Yeah, just mm -hmm. moving on. Okay. Thanks, Sule, for driving that. And yes, 
speaking of donations, yeah, we still have community breach account. Uh, this account uh, isn't actively used at the moment because we don't really promote it. Well, in any means, it's just reference on the donations page, but we don't really pronounce uh, promote the donations page either. So yeah, you can see that it has a open pay eighty dollars at the moment, uh, but. It actually raises uh, the question because right now we don't have so much money left in our coffers. Over the past years, we invested a lot uh, in programs like Outreach. We also paid uh, all our debts uh, for infrastructure costs and uh, other activities. So we spent quite a lot of money. At the same time, uh, we don't have uh, continuous. Uh, uh, money inflow because uh, yes, PI flow is uh, shut down. We have, we still have money there. We also received money for Google Summer of Code this year. Uh, so if there is an emergency, we have some uh, cash in the coffers. Uh, but if you want to start our own outreach programs or if you want to, uh, to sell found uh, outreach so, or community bridge documentation projects like we discussed a while ago. Uh, then actually our opportunities are quite limited. Uh, we can always uh, shake some trees, find sponsors, we could contact uh, Continuous Delivered Foundation and see whether we could find options there. Uh, but uh, yeah, if we talk about uh, funds, uh, the Jenkins project or on itself, we are not in uh, the best shape at the moment. So maybe we should think about how we actually facilitate uh, the nations and how we uh, promote them well, without being super aggressive uh, but uh, still making uh, the page uh, more visible would be nice i have it in my to-do list so yeah once uh, the situation uh, with elections uh, becomes better in terms of time required i might take a look at the donations flow and get it over the line uh, but yeah, if somebody uh, has any ideas how to carefully promote that, and uh, if you want to contribute, please do so. Okay. Anything else for today? I have one, Oleg. So um, I am putting a link in the chat window. So if you want to play that, um, so this is circling back to. Um, to a video that we that I shared with um, the governance board a few months ago, um, Daniel brought up the issue that I guess the gun in the tank looks a little bit um, not in positive light. I guess so. We changed that. Um, the the production team changed it a bit, and so I like. And so this is what they've given us. Um, uh, with that change. So I like to get feedback and see if that's okay to use. It's still, <laughs> to me, it's not much different. It's still some, uh, you know, some that looks like a gun. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure how much we can do about that. And it's yeah. supposed to be a telescope, yeah. right? Well, it's, it's oh. well, you... <laughs> But it shoots something out, though. It. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's. It, it's yeah. it's a projectile launching device. That's fine. But it, it thankfully no longer has quite the direct correlation to the to that it earlier had. I think yeah. I think the change looks good from what I can see. Okay. I agree. It, it looks car It looks much more cartoony now. Okay. And I like that. I think that's a positive. Okay. Yeah, I agree. So, personally, I think that yeah, since we have a video, it might help to uh, uh, promote Jenkins, etc. I'm not uh, concerned about publishing it. For me personally, this ground uh, was uh, always about uh, from the Earth to the Moon book, even in the original version. Uh, so, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So, you wanted to publish it uh, through social media channels, right? Um, well, that and I'd like to get it on Jenkins.io oh. homepage somewhere. 
Um, and then I'll talk to Jackie to see if we can get it on um, CDF as well um, under Jenkins. Mm -hmm. So and a list of the ideas, to, it, it would actually be hosted on YouTube so that we could embed it? Or are you envisioning a different form of hosting? Um, you can let me know what is best for okay. Jenkins.io. I'm, I'm totally easy with that. Yeah, for Jenkins.io, what more? Yeah, it's better to have it on YouTube or on a public hosting which supports embedding videos. So we can put it on uh, the Jenkins uh, YouTube channel, yeah? Right, okay. yes. Yeah, we could. Um, okay. Yeah, after that, uh, it's quite straightforward to add it uh, to the page. Well, it's still yet to be seen because if you embed the video, it might be, it might have some issues with JavaScript, etc. connected to the page uh, or mm -hmm. uh, layout collisions. But in principle, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. We certainly have other pages that embed videos. And, right, and but uh, we have some pages which have your ASCII doc, and we have a macro for that. And this page is not ASCII doc, it's HAML, it's, uh, it attaches additional JavaScript, which do this fancy okay. thing and other. So, so for clarity, I was not assuming that Alyssa was asking for, the, for it to be added to the root page. Were you asking to add it? Would it be okay, for instance, if we put it on the Jumbotron a link to a page that would then show you that video or do you so, did you want it on the on the root page uh so jenkins.io with mm -hmm. the home page would would you consider that as the root page sorry is let's be very specific the page that oleg is showing right now mm -hmm. is this the place page where you where you would like it embedded? yes it does not need to be on the jumbotron um, because I think I, I'd like for it to live a little bit longer than uh, uh, than because like DevOps World or CDCon, once the event is over or after a certain amount of time, we remove that, right? So I like to live on the page where it can, at least on the home page, this page right here, where it can live a little bit longer than you know taking it out after a few months or something like that. But mm -hmm. I'm totally open to what you, you guys feel is best. Somewhere on the home page works for me. Okay. Mark, you look confused. I'm, I'm, I'm wrestling with where, where we would put it visually in this, but maybe let's let you and I take it up separately to, to try some different ideas. Okay. okay. Oleg's right. This page is not directly ASCII doc, but I suspect we yeah, it'll, it'll take some, a little bit of extra work to embed a video on this page. Mm. But it, it's, if, if this is where you want it, let's, let's work through some experiments to see, is this sort of what you want or that, and see what we can find. Okay. Yep, I'm totally open, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one more topic. <clears throat> Do we have a list of specific uh, terminology change issues for that we're going to include in Hacktoberfest? Not yet. Do we, do we need to open some? We need to, we need to open some. Okay. Yeah, and uh, actually, uh, Alex, you took this action item in August. So, yeah, uh, right now what we have uh, yeah, on the so on the roadmap, we basically link a mailing list for um, uh, master terminology cleanup and uh, well, the list whitelist. Origin terminology cleanup, we have an epic. So they, we are all set, well, at least to some extent. The problem is with this entry. So what I did uh, while publishing the Hackoberfest page, instead of linking a mailing list, uh, I just said that uh, all the terminology follow the example uh, for aging terminology cleanup because yeah, there are some references how to do that uh, and links. Uh, but yeah, it's a kind of uh, workaround. So if somebody has been wired to start creating issues, it will be great. 
and you have multiple places where you could create issues. You can assign that to me. I'll take that action item. Is there an epic already in Jira for that? No. Okay. We're waiting for that. Uh, so, yeah, for Jira, it might not be needed. So, in principle, it would be nice to have Jira. Uh, but, yeah, we can get away even without Jira. So, I use I'll get, I'll get an epic. I'll get an epic created and then they'll start building the tickets, uh, the issues under that epic. Mm -hmm. And, Marky, if it would be okay with you, the doc sig in the meeting Monday afternoon said that they would be okay with putting things specific to the Jenkins.io site as GitHub issues. And I've got the action item. They've got a, they put, they agreed to a, a plan of how to structure those so that we get maybe five or six total issues, each not huge, but, but reasonably sized. Perfect. So is that, is that okay for you? I, I'd rather not track Jenkins.io site issues in Jira because we've got the GitHub issues that we're using to track. Yeah, I, I'm fine with either or for, for the, the Jenkins.io that can get tracked in uh, GitHub. For the right. other uh, other items, I'll track that in Jira. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, if you have this documentation, it would be definitely beneficial. Because again, Hacker has, has already started, but uh, yeah, this page will be a kind of landing page for the next month. And even after Hacktoberfest, that this information can be used. Because yeah, obviously it will take uh, months or years to clean up everything. Uh, but having guidance is definitely a way to at least uh, facilitate contributions. Okay. And just on Hacktoberfest, I think the CDF newsletter is going out tomorrow and that's got a link to a landing page, which will also link to, to the Jenkins one as well as other projects. So yeah, happy to help try and get some more attention and eyeballs on Hacktoberfest. So enjoy those PRs next month, everybody. Thank you. Oh, I already completed my Hacktoberfest. Yeah. <laughs> <It happens. laughs> oh, is it a bit cheaper? Last year I completed it 34 times. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, I don't want to do so much this time. That's it. Thank okay. you for bringing that up, Alex. Thanks for driving that, Marky. Plus one. Okay. Any uh, other comments on October 1st or technology changes? Just one small thing I was just going to say is like we're recording keynotes for CDCon, but um, I will be highlighting that as in in kind of the overview of CDF is, yeah, I think just a, a really important direction and, and thing we're doing. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So then next meeting. So yeah, in September, we were uh, moving uh, meetings uh, to uh, make some space for DevOps world, CDCon, to ensure that contributors can go there. Um, uh, technically, we expect to have the meeting next week. Uh, do we want to have the meeting next week? I'll be busy with CDCon, I can't attend. Okay. It's October 7th, if I recall correctly. Yeah, so for me, it's a bit late. Uh, it would be great if somebody else uh, drives that, unless there are major topics to discuss. Uh, but yeah, if we can do this meeting and then uh, return back on the original schedule, then that's fine. If not, we can just uh, schedule another meeting in two weeks. Yeah, I'm happy to run the meeting October 7th. 
a mark here on me. Oops. October 7th, I'm happy to run it. That would be a good day for me. Uh, Alex, Ule, would you like to take it? If we have it, do we have some topics to discuss next week already? Let's see. So. Okay. So I can uh, tentatively say that uh, Mark to drive it. Unless uh, somebody from both members can. I, I don't have access to any of the Zoom creds for running meetings, so I, uh, Mark would be a better choice. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Okay, then anything else we need to discuss today? So the the next mile is the next milestone two weeks out. Is that a critical date, timeline date for uh, nominations? Is, is that a critical date on the on the elections process? Mm, well, it's critical date on the election process, uh, but it doesn't influence the governance meetings. Okay, great. Because, Thank you. Uh, yeah, the election committee will have their own meetings to basically review nominations and to prepare the final list of candidates. This meeting uh, won't be public. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't uh, require governance meeting. Great. Okay. So, yeah. I think that, uh, yeah, the calendar is not that packed at the moment. But yeah, we're not uh, overlapping the city comments from school group. So when we will definitely need meeting is twenty uh, first. Uh, oh, so now it's right. So on twenty first, when we start the release candidate, we also make a baseline selection. So right. we will meet at this meeting. So maybe we do the meeting for next week, and then return back uh, to the original schedule so that uh, we align with uh, LTS uh, flow as uh, year one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds good. Good for me too. So then, yeah, we have a plan. Uh, thanks everyone for your time. Thanks. Thank you, Oleg. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.